Good morning, y'all, and happy, happy, happy Wednesday. I had to push to get on here today, but we are on here. If you are already a part of our YouTube family, I just want to say that I'm so thankful to have you here. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss another video. I'm so blessed to, that God saw fit to have you to come across my channel to receive a word from him. And I want to read the scripture for the day first, and it's going to come from Romans chapter 8, verse 18. And it says, For I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. And the title of this particular message is future glory so god is telling us like don't get caught up in your current situation don't get caught up uh in what you're currently seeing come on now you gotta think further than where you are you gotta think about the future glory um that's why it says right here for uh, i consider that the suffering of this present times are not worth comparing with the glory that is going to be revealed through us god is telling us baby this season just hold on because i'm trying to do something uh through you it's not woo come on god it's not punishment baby it's preparation come on now that was not the test that was training i was training you up for this very moment i was training you up for what i was going to do through you he said i need you to be focused in this season i don't need you to be distracted i don't need you to be discouraged i need you to stay focused i need you to keep on trusting me when it don't look good when it don't feel good when nobody understands when it seems like everybody around you is judging you because they do not understand god said it feels like you in a season of uncertainty i don't know why i can't hang with them i don't know why i have to let them go i don't know why i have to leave that job i don't know why i had to go through what i'm going through i don't know why i'm where i'm at right now i don't know why i don't even know what happened you just in a season of uncertainty but god sent me on here with an encouraging message to let you know that what you're going through cannot compare to the glory that's going to meet you at your destiny in your purpose god said just keep on hanging on don't get frustrated don't feel like you failed come on and faint not god says because the glory that's going to be revealed to you come on now it can't even compare to the little suffering that you experiencing right now and baby it don't feel like little suffering it feel like big suffering it feels like go ahead god in my misery go ahead god take me up out of here but god said it cannot compare to what is going to be revealed through you it cannot compare the glory that's going to be revealed through you it cannot compare from where people see you at right now and when they see you later on god said god said you may be down to nothing but baby when you down to nothing that just means that he's up to something he said i needed you right there for a reason come on now i needed you with them for a reason i needed you at that job for a reason i need you on that bus for a reason i needed you in that uber for a reason glory to god he said i needed you there come on now i need somebody to see you at your current state glory to god so that my glory may be revealed through you come on now they're gonna say how did you get up from that come on now how did you come back from that come on now how you didn't kill yourself from that come on now how you didn't give up right there come on how you didn't lose faith right there come on now because the glory of God, come on now, God's grace, God's mercy. That song said, it kept me so that I wouldn't let go. Come on now, it kept me so I cannot let go. Come on now, God, I want to do something through you. He said, but you got to stand it. Come on now, you got to stand up against it. Come on now, it seems like it was sent to destroy you. Glory to God. It seemed like it was sent to distract you. It seemed like it was sent to take you up out of here. But God said, don't let it distract you. Come on now, don't let it kill you. What don't kill you only make you stronger, baby. You got to stay down till you come up. God said, it's not your punishment season. It's your preparation season. Do you hear me? You thought you was in the test. God said, that was just training, boo. I was just getting you ready for the real thing come on now i don't know how many of y'all is waiting on the real thing but god said this next season baby it's gonna be the real thing it's gonna be the real deal glory to god god said this this training come on now this preparation season is just preparing you for what i got next it's just preparing you for what i got coming it's just preparing you for what i'm about to reveal through you come on now it's not in your spirit for nothing come on now you ain't just holding on for nothing come on now 
God said, and they might not understand. He said, but this ain't for them to understand, baby. They ain't going to understand it till they see it. Some people can't believe it till they see it. God said, shut the noise out. Come on now, shut the hairs out. Come on now, shut the naysayers out. Glory to God. Tell the devil that he is a liar. Come on now. I'm just standing right here patiently waiting on my next. <laughs> I can't make a move until God tell me to make a move. I'm just standing still. It looks like I'm I'm doing nothing. Glory to God. It looks like I'm just being still. It looks like I'm being muted. It looks like I'm silent. It looks like I'm about to give up. Come on now. It looks like I ain't got nothing left. Glory to God. It looks like I'm down on my luck. Come on now. But I'm just waiting on God to make his move. Come on now. When you don't know, the, the word tells us to be still. Be still and trust in the Lord. Come on now. Be still and trust in God. Be silent and trust in God. Come on now, Exodus. Come on now. I gave a word on Exodus. It said, be silent because God is going to fight this battle for you. And sometimes we get a word and we think it's for our now. But sometimes God has given us a word for our next. Come on now. In a season. Come on now. When I was um voicing, saying a lot of things, baby. Come on now. God sent me a word that said, be silent glory to god and i thought that meant in the current moment but sometimes we don't understand what what he's doing through us or for us or to us until we get into that season come on now where it be revealed so i'm just on here to encourage somebody to keep on being still keep on being silent come on now Keep on praying at night. Do you hear me? Keep on in your word. Keep on getting on here and watching these videos. Come on now. God said, I want to do something through you. I'm trying to reveal something through you and you don't even understand it. So you can't even uh, expect people to understand. Don't even try to explain. Come on now. I don't know the plan, baby. I'm just waiting on God. It's going to be your answer. Come on now for this season. I don't know the plan, but God knows the plan. He's going to do it through me. I'm just the willing vessel, baby. I'm just showing up. Do you hear me? I'm just showing up to the fight, but he's going to fight this one for me. Glory to God. I don't know how I'm going to get the house, but he do. I don't know how I'm going to get the car, but he do. I don't know how I'm going to make ends meet, but he do. I don't know where my next meal is coming from, but he do. I don't know how I'm going to raise these kids, but he do. I don't know how I'm going to sustain this relationship, this marriage, glory to God, but he do. Come on now. You in a season of uncertainty, but God sent me on here to tell you one thing that you can be certain in him. You can be certain in his word that he will never leave us nor forsake us and that he got plans to prosper us and not to harm us. God sent me on here to let you know that you can be certain about that. You can be certain that he's with you even when you cannot hear him. You can be certain that even though we can't see his face, that you can see his hands moving in your life. You can be certain. Come on now, that though you walk through the valley, come on now, thy rod, thy staff, thy comfort me. You can be certain that his strength will sustain you when your own strength fails you. You can be certain in him. You can be certain in this word that I just gave you on today from Romans 8 and 18. I have it in the description box. So make sure y'all visit in the description box, baby. It gives you ways to even sow into this word. You can be certain, come on now, that when you sow in good soil, come on now, that you're going to reap a magnificent harvest. You can be certain. Come on now that God sent you this word right in the midst of what you're going through, right in the midst of your uncertainty. You can be certain in that. Glory to God. So I encourage you to sow. I encourage you to read the description. Baby, it's scripture references in there. It's ways to stay connected with me. You can always leave a comment. You can DM me. You can message me. Whatever social media that you have, glory to God. You can even email me. I'm going to have my email um, added to the stay connected as well this week. So I love you and just stay encouraged because the suffering, come on now, that you experiencing right now cannot compare to the glory, glory to God. That's that's about to find you. That's about to meet you right where you at. And I feel that prophetically for somebody. Come on, Holy Spirit. Do what only you know how to do. Baby, what you're going through cannot compare to the glory that is on his way to you. You don't have to look for the glory. God said the glory is on his way to you. The glory got a destination to meet you at. The glory got a landmark to meet you at. The glory has GPS coordinates on you, baby. The glory knows where you at when you don't even know where the glory is. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, God, right now for your grace and your mercy, oh God. Let this word resonate with who it needs to resonate with, oh God. Let this word be to be whatever it needs to be to whoever you will have it to be to, oh God. And we just thank you for this word on this morning, oh God. We magnify you, oh God. You are worthy to be praised, oh God. Send us strength, oh God. Send us vision, oh God. Send us ears to hear from you, oh God, and a heart posture to understand even when we uncertain that we can be certain in you, oh God. And I say these things in your son Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all. And again, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.